Hi and welcome to another very exciting tutorial. Today we're going to have a look at an old friend, the refresh control and how to use it in Swift UI. So what we're going to build is this very simple but built with Swift UI, UI view representable and UI view control representable. But before we get started, I'd like to point you towards a live stream that I'm going to conduct next Monday on June 15th. It's all about your questions about privacy and the implications of using data in our day-to-day -day lives. Um, if you're new to the topic, have a look at my last video. It outlines the tremendous importance of dealing with aspects of privacy as a developer. My guests in this live stream will be the head of Privacy Tech Lab, Sebastian Zimek and his colleagues. I cannot stress the importance of this topic enough, so I hope to see many of you in this live stream event. But now let's start building the app. I've already created a small demo project here called Pull to Refresh. It's just an empty single view application um, that we're going to create with Swift UI, of course. So also if you're new to Swift UI, you might pick up a new technique or two. And we're going to start with the data model. Every app or every app that deals with data also should have a data model. In our case, we're just having these little items here that we actually want to present. And therefore, we are going to create a new file. Let's call it a, just a plain Swift file. Let's maybe call it data model. And in this data model file, what we're going to do um, is defining all the properties that we need. Since we want to display our information or our data in a struct, we're going to create our data model and adopt the identifiable protocol. This gives our data model the ability to work together with a list. And as you can see, our data model does not conform to the protocol yet because we need a kind of an ID. And here as a data type, we can use a UUID and just initialize it every time we create a new object of our data model. And since it's very simple, we're just going to have an item title, which is going to be a string. So just for example, uh, number one, number two, node three, and so on. So this is actually our data model. Now we also need to make it available somehow to our Swift UI view. So we are going to create a data manager for that. Um, this time we're going to use an observable object um, as a protocol for this data manager. And this gives us the opportunity to actually use a at published a property wrapper that allows us to access our data model, which is going to be a or an array of data model objects to send updates every time something actually changes. So in our case, we're not actually using the pull to refresh to actually refresh data, but to trigger the creation of a new object. It actually adds a new item to our data model array, which of course doesn't mean that in times of Swift UI and kind of responsive um, and nice UI refreshments using the single source of truth um, in Swift UI that it's not useful to work with the refresh control because you can still create innovative and cool user interfaces using this technique, for example, by creating a custom refresh control, which of course means that you still need to implement it. And this is what we're going to do right now. Um, so first of all, what we need to do with our data manager is initializing it um, using a data model. And since we're using an array here, also an array of data model, and then we'll still simply initialize our property here right away. And since this is our manager, we also add a function to add an item here, simply by using the data model and append a new data model object um, with a capital D, so a data model object with the item title, for example, note or whatever you'd like to create number, for example, just using the data model and its count and adding one. 
um, since we're starting to count at zero. And now I just saw that we have small typo here. It's not called, uh, not spelled correctly, our item title. So let's quickly uh, change that to item title. All right. And then we can just maybe move that to the top of our uh, file list here, our data model.swift file, and create a new Swift UI view, which is going to be actually our pull to refresh view. So this is what we're going to create. And now let's quickly ask what this should look like. Um, so actually we want to have a list and in this list we'd like to display our items that we've stored um, using our data model. And we have defined our data model uh, or our data manager as an observable object. So we can use the observed object property wrapper here and define a data manager object. And we can then use this data manager in our body to actually create a list with our manager and the, which is not spelled correctly as well, manager. And now we have here also manager. And we can access the data model right here um, to provide some content for our list. And since we know that these should be notes, we can use that as a placeholder here and then work with each note and display its item title as a text. And now since we have our property manager here for our pull to refresh struct, we also should um, add that here in the preview if we'd like to use it. We could also remove the preview right here, but let's create a data manager and add a data model array here. And let's maybe say that we have this data model object with an item title, my first note. Uh, quickly build that and then we can have a look at that in the simulator or at the canvas. Um, so let's just quickly bring that up, pressing command option return and then pressing command option P to actually run this or display it in our canvas. And here we have our list with our first note. Of course, we cannot pull to refresh yet, but let's quickly do that. But let's solve that right now. And now is the time where we need to work together with UI kits. So let's create a new Swift file. I'm going to call that uh, refresh scroll view. Because using scroll view, we can use the refresh control and attach it to it. But this also means that we need to import UI kit. We also need to import Swift UI. And then we can create a new struct, call that, for example, refresh refresh scroll view and use the UI view representable for that. And then what we are going to need is a width and a height as a CG float for our uh, refresh scroll view. So let's create a height CG float um, as well. And then we will also need our manager. Let's say we have our data manager right here and create our data model with some item with some items. Let's say we have one item with an item title with a note number one. Let's quickly copy that and add note number two. And this is what we're going to start with, just some sample data. As you can see, our uh, refresh scroll view does not conform to the protocol, which means that we still need to create some functions here. For example, make UI view, which is quite important to actually make our view. And here we are going to return not some view, but a UI scroll view. And it's, it's actually pretty simple. What we're going to do is create a scroll view initialize it, UI scroll view, and then return our scroll view. And in between, we're going to make some adjustments, but uh, more about that later. What we're also are going to need is an update UI view function. We're not going to use that, so let's just keep that empty. And um, what we will also need uh, for this to work is um, a way, is a kind of a, a coordinator that lets us deal with the refresh control and also handles what what actually happens when we release our refresh control. Um, and such a coordinator is a class uh, within this struct, let's call it coordinator uh, of type and as object. And here we're going to need a reference to our refresh scroll view itself. 
refresh scroll view of type refresh scroll view. And we're also going to need our manager to actually access the data that we'd like to work with. We also need to initialize that right here. Uh, so let's create an initializer for refresh scroll view of type refresh scroll view and also manager of type data manager and then quickly initialize that self refresh scroll view equals refresh scroll view and self manager equals manager and we're done with that and um, now the important thing is now actually to handle the refresh from ui kit or this uh, event when uh, we actually release here to create a new item in our list. We're going to create a handle refresh control function here. Uh, this is going to have a sender, just UI kit style of UI refresh control. And then we can use sender and refreshing so that the spinning ends. And then we can use our manager and add a new item. And this is what we're going to do here. Since we're later going to use a selector, also UI kit style, we need to add an objective C um, attribute here to our function so that we can use that together with the selector. So this is our coordinator that we're going to use. And if you want to learn more about um, why and how you can use these coordinators with other UI kit components, I've also made a dedicated video on that, which I'm going to link in the video description below. Uh, but now that we have this coordinator, we also need to use the function make coordinator, which is part of UI view representable. And this is this couldn't be any simpler. We can uh, create our coordinator, initialize that right here. As a reference, we're passing along self and the manager is our manager that we also have here. Um, so with that, we have a coordinator that we can use and uh, we have a make UI view um, that creates a scroll view for us, uh, but there is still some work to do. For example, uh, a scroll view can have a refresh control, but only if you also add one. So let's add our UI refresh control right here. This could also be where you add a subclass and customize UI view. UI refresh control um, that you built yourself. So with that done, uh, what we also need to do is um, actually tell our refresh control what to do. So we're accessing it and now we add a target, also UI kit style. And this is where our selector comes into play. And um, we have a target, we have a action, which is our selector, and we have to select an event. The event is very simple. This is just um, the value changed uh, for our refresh control. Um, so very simple here. And the target now um, in a UI view controller, this would be self, we don't have a UI view controller. So what we have to pass along here is our context that we get from our function and its coordinator, which we build right here. And this is also where our handle refresh control function sits, which is why we can now use hashtag selector and pass along an Objective-C method. And um, here we have our coordinator and the handle refresh control function. So that's all there really is to configuring um, our refresh control. And with this configuration done, uh, we still need to somehow connect our pull to refresh view that we've already built in Swift UI with this scroll view right here. And we actually need to put the pull to refresh view into our scroll view so that they can actually work together. For that, we are going to create a new view controller. Um, let's just call that maybe um, uh, refresh VC. And we're going to use UI hosting controller to host our root view, which is the pull to refresh view. And we simply can pass along the manager that we have right here. And this is our new view controller um, that we can use. And from this view controller, um, we can then use its um, its view to actually add that as a sub view to our scroll view. But before we do that, let's use the refresh view controller, its view and its frame to actually give it a size and a position. We should set that to 
zero zero and the width and height that we have here as properties in our struct in line 13, uh, 13 and 14. And um, now that we have this view control already, we can use our scroll view and add a sub view, which is going to be our refresh view controller and its view. And with that, we have put a actually a Swift UI view into a, a UI kit view controllers view. And this is how we actually can connect the scroll view with its pull to refresh control that we've added right here. Now, this is actually the implementation for that. Now, it's not going to show anywhere uh, because in our content view, which is at the moment our entry point for our application, uh, we haven't done anything yet. Um, so let's quickly do that. And um, the thing with these, uh, with the width and height for our refresh scroll view is that we need to get this somewhere. And a great way to do this is to actually use a geometry reader here in uh, Swift UI. So we're going to use that. And I'm going to use a geometry in this um, function here. And so that we have a nice way to add our headline or our title bar, we're going to use a navigation view. And within our, within our navigation view, we're going to add our refresh scroll view. So it couldn't be any simpler. And here we can pass along the width of our geometry. So we use geometry, its size and its width, and we're using geometry, size and height to get that done. Um, and that's actually it. Now we can also set a navigation bar title. I added, I pull every night app to it in our demo. And that's it. We can now run it in the simulator, for example, and see what it does. So here we have it plain and simple. We can move it down and you can already see there's the pull to refresh. We're going to pull harder and here we have it. There is our third node and so on. And we can play this game all day long. And that's how simple it is to add a pull to refresh control using Swift UI. I hope you can use that for your app. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to have a look at the live stream next Monday on June 15th. And I'll hope to see you then.